everybody, and welcome to Horizon Worlds. You've probably found yourself in this little personal space, but today I'm gonna show you how you can get started building your own Horizon Worlds. To start off, looking at your left controller, you'll notice there's a little button below your thumbstick. It's recessed, and if you press it, it'll open up your menu. You can also open this menu from your wrist by pressing the three bar icon. Once this menu is open, you'll notice in the bottom right there is a Create tab. And from the Create tab, you'll see all of the worlds you've created. We're going to go and click on New World. Now we can choose a blank world or one of these other simple environments. We can choose from rich environments or pre-made mechanics. But today, we're just going to start in an empty world. That's this blank world here. So let's go ahead and click Create. We'll give it a simple name. Lakes was here! Yes, I will be! Let's go! <laughs> Welcome to world creation. Yeah, we're on a blank grid. So as you're looking around, you might be thinking, how am I supposed to create in here? And it does seem strange that you're going to be pulling things out of the ether. But to do that, we need to leave. Right now, we're in preview mode. But to get into build mode, so we're in edit mode, which means we're in the editable world. But right now we are previewing the world like a user would if they were visiting your world. And so to get into build mode, you pull down on your right thumbstick. So you see this little icon here? When you pull down on your right thumbstick, you're in build mode. Notice your hands have all these controls on it. We'll get into that. But the first thing you need to know is you can move around by grabbing with your middle finger on the grab handle. And as you move around, you can even see that if you grab with two hands, you'll scale yourself bigger or smaller, which can be very useful. We're not gonna go too far into this because the first thing you need to do is that recessed button we pressed earlier to open our menu in our personal space. We'll press it again, which opens up this menu. Whoa, what's it doing up there? <laughs> but then on this menu, you'll see you have shapes, gizmos, sounds, lots of cool stuff. But the thing I wanna draw your attention to is the learn button. If we press the learn button, it's gonna open up a series of videos. If this menu ends up getting in your way, you can press and hold down this button to move it around. You can also press it again to close it. And now you'll be presented with over 200 amazing getting started videos that we had the pleasure to help create. And here you'll see there's the welcome to horizon section, build mode. And if you click the back arrow, you'll see there's this entire section for hand tools. That's these tools on our hands, gizmos, scripting, publishing, local scripting, and so much more. So definitely check these videos out, watch them at your own pace. But for now, we're going to click this X button and we're going to open our menu one more time. Now over here, you might've noticed there's this new assets function. This is amazing. It gets you a bunch of pre-made assets to get you started building instantly. So here we're gonna go to the terrain section. Look, we've got pine trees and mountains and potted plants. And if you pull with your index trigger, you can pull these items out. Now I'm gonna place one here. I'm gonna grab with two hands, pulling outwards to zoom in. It's the reverse to zoom out. And so here we can see that looks great. We're gonna pull out another plant, placing it right there. Very nice. I encourage you to use the snap tools. And if you go to your styles tab, there's all sorts of painting tools here. You can see just by selecting with my paintbrush, you, you can see the paintbrush is selected and I can repaint even like that there. So definitely watch those learn tutorials to learn how to do this and so much more like making it level and even creating your own plants. Now, when you're done building, if you press forward on your thumbstick on your left hand, you're going to notice this ray I'm pressing and holding. If you press it once, you'll respawn at that little blue player icon. But because I'm using this ray, I can determine where I want to spawn into the world. I'm going to let go. And here I am. All right, you guys have all the tools you need to start creating. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments. And we look forward to seeing what you create in Horizon. Bye!